because what we can do is literally play any of these notes in any permutation and it's gonna sound pretty good. Hello my saxophone playing friend, Alexander here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In today's lesson, I just wanna give you a simple scale that you can start using today to help you with learning how to improvise on the sax. And this is a really great scale because no matter what you do, it's gonna sound melodic, it's gonna sound familiar, and it's just a great place to start if you've never improvised on the sax before. So the scale I'm gonna show you is a pentatonic scale, and I actually have the fingerings the sheet music and the note names for this scale that you can get for free at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash G pentatonic. And that's what the scale is. It's the G major pentatonic scale. And this actually derives from the G major scale, which I also have a step-by-step -step lesson on. And I'm gonna link to that at the end of this video. And I also link to that in the description of this video as well. And this is the first scale that you should be learning on the saxophone, G major. So I'm gonna show you G pentatonic, which is derived from G major. And what we're gonna do is take five notes out of the G major scale to create the pentatonic scale. So the five notes are G, A, B, D, and E. So these are the five notes of the G major pentatonic scale. We're just taking out C and F sharp from the G major scale. So let me just show you the note names for the G major pentatonic scale, and then I'm gonna show you how you can start improvising around the scale as well. So G major pentatonic is G, three fingers in the left hand, A, two fingers in the left hand, B, just one finger in the left hand, then we're gonna go into the second octave using the octave key and all the fingers in the left hand, all the fingers in the right hand, that's D. Then we move up to E, which is all the fingers in the left hand, two fingers in the right hand, still holding the octave key. And then finally we're gonna land on G again with the octave key, and it sounds like this. So that's this G major pentatonic scale in one octave on the saxophone. And this is a great place to start if you're learning how to improvise on the sax. Because what we can do is literally play any of these notes in any permutation and it's gonna sound pretty good. It's gonna be easy for you to come up with creative improvisational ideas. So let's just take that scale and let's just start playing around with it like this. So that's just me playing around with the G major pentatonic scale. I showed you the notes and they're the only notes that I was using and I'm just coming up with melodic ideas. I'm just changing the rhythm. I'm playing some notes longer than others. I'm playing different permutations of the scale. And this is just a great scale to start getting creative with when you're trying to learn how to improvise for the first time. So try to just play around with these notes. Try not to use any backing tracks initially. Just get comfortable with the scale and then you can explore different different backing tracks. And if you do want to start playing with a backing track, just remember that you have to transpose for the concert pitch. So if we're playing a G pentatonic scale on the alto sax, that's going to be in the key of B flat major for concert. And if you're playing the G major scale on the tenor sax, that's going to be in F concert. So make sure you're finding the correct key for you to improvise with around this scale. Now there's a couple of little exercises that I'm going to show you around the scale that's going to help you with trying to come up with new ideas. And one of those exercises is simply skipping notes. So we're going to skip one note each time and then go back down to that note, skip another note, go back down to that note. So let me show you what I mean. So with G major pentatonic we're going to start on G and the next note is A so we're going to skip that and go to B. But once we skip it, go from G to B, we're going to go back down to that note, A. Then we skip B and go up to D with the octave key. So those first few notes are going to sound like this. and we just continue the pattern. Now we're gonna go back down to B, which we skipped, skip D and go up to E, then go back down to D, and then go up to G. So it sounds like this. Then we're gonna do the opposite on the way down. Instead of going down to E, we're gonna skip E and go to D. Then we're gonna go up to E, and then down to B. So those first few notes are gonna sound like this. 
and then we continue the pattern. We go up to D, then down to A, up to B, and then down to G. So the whole exercise sounds like this. And that's just a simple exercise you can use to help you with coming up with melodic ideas. So I'm going to use that exercise along with just playing the G major pentatonic scale normally and I'm going to improvise around it. So let me show you what I mean. So you can actually come up with some pretty cool ideas, pretty simple ideas, just by using these two approaches, playing the G major pentatonic scale, ascending and then descending, and then also playing the G major pentatonic scale by just skipping notes. So you can just skip in between the notes, like in the exercise I just showed you. So there's just a couple of ideas to get started with when it comes to improvising on the sax. I really hope that helped you. Please let me know if it did, comment below. And if you wanna see more lessons like this on how to improvise, and different ways you can approach improvising, please let me know because I'd love to start teaching you more about these concepts. There's so much to explore when it comes to being creative and improvising on the saxophone and I've been doing it for over 25 years so I have a lot of information I'd love to share with you. Just let me know what your biggest struggles are with improvising. Let me know what you're most confused about when it comes to improvising on the saxophone. Please comment below and let me know. Remember you can download the G major pentatonic fingerings at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash G pentatonic and if you want to learn even more pentatonic scales go ahead and download my saxophone scale cheat sheets at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash scales I give you all the pentatonic scales with all the letter names as well as the notation of all the pentatonic scales so you can start learning them in different keys and you can start improvising in different keys as well all right my friend I really hope you enjoyed this lesson if you did please subscribe to my channel click that notification bell so you can know every single time I upload a video and please like this video as well if you found it helpful. Alright my friend, until next time, happy playing.